Jones, welcome back to my channel and to another book review. It feels like forever since I've done a proper book review, so today I'll be talking about Macbeth by Yo Nesbo, based on a Shakespeare play of the same name, in case you weren't sure. But this book was part of a project where a book publisher commissioned a few authors to write novels based on Shakespeare plays. And one of these authors is Yo Nesbo, who, in case you don't know, is a Norwegian author mostly known for his thrillers. So the original play by William Shakespeare, or the Scottish play as it was known at the time because it was considered bad luck to say the name Macbeth, Anyway, the Scottish play follows a war hero called Macbeth, who, somewhat guided by pride and ambition and partially pushed by a controlling wife, commits a horrible act and we follow his downfall and mental decline as he has to commit more and more crimes in order to cover up the original crime and basically becomes from a hero to a villain. Now, this book kind of follows the same general plotline, but instead of the 17th century, this book takes place in the 1970s, and instead of focusing on soldiers and monarchy, it instead focuses on the police force. So Macbeth is no longer a decorated war hero, but a beloved police officer. And for example, Duncan, who was the king in the Scottish play, is now the police chief. So Macbeth, the book, was okay. It had a compelling plot and ideas, it was somewhat interesting, I didn't really like it, but it was definitely not awful. I generally do like modern adaptation of Shakespeare works, mostly because Shakespeare wrote of timeless concepts like love, hate, war, greed, etc. And it's very interesting to see how these concepts are interpreted in different times and culture, but in this case, I will probably forget most of the book before this video comes up. One issue is the adaptation from this 17th century somewhat fantastical play into this modern, realistic, and kind of gritty novel, which I felt was incomplete. But this is also a good time to point out that there were some adapted elements that I really liked. I felt like the focus being on the police force fighting to save a city sunken in poverty and drugs, I thought that was really great. And I also really liked how he adapted the fantastical element in the Scottish play and how he incorporated them in the plot. But some things were kind of lost in translation, like the fact that in the Scottish play Macbeth has only this name, he has no first name. This is a fact that should have changed in this novel, but it didn't. So everyone, including his colleagues, his friends, his wife, only call him Macbeth. He, he should have changed it. He should have called him, I don't know, John Macbeth or something. I know this is not super important, but this is one of those things that um, really kept me out of the realism that he tries to portray. Also, despite most of the characters being pretty much blue collar, every now and then they will have this monologue out of nowhere where they will just speak in what I can only assume is Nesbo's modern version of trying to sound Shakespearean. It comes out of nowhere and it fits neither the character nor the plot. Also, I do want to point out, and this will be a good time to do so, that the translation that I read it in was absolutely terrible. This isn't Yonesbo's fault, but I'm just pointing it out anyway. Also, I felt the writing was way too on the nose. Everything is explained in such detail from characters' personalities and their thoughts and events in the book instead of showing them naturally. So much time, too much time actually, is dedicated to the characters' inner monologue where they explain exactly what they think and how they feel instead of showing it with actions. Speaking of characters, they just didn't make sense to me. There's a strange contradiction between the way that the characters actually behave and the way that the book and other characters claim they behave. A character might say that, for example, another character will never shoot a man if he's unarmed or that another character is ambitious but has no critical thinking. But these statements has no base in the plot. Basically, the character's description and the character's behavior don't add up. Problem is that Yonesbo made a huge mistake by completely screwing up the character's introductions. 
The first time a character shows up is the perfect time and basically the only time to establish who they are and this first impression is what we mostly remember of them. And the first scene in the book is a police sting operation. This is the perfect way to show who stays calm under pressure, who is the leader type, who is the follower, etc. And this scene gives us false information because, for example, we're introduced to two great friends, but the way they behave and interact in this scene makes it feel like they are in each other's way and they don't even really like each other. Not to mention that later we find out that one of them is actually jealous and was always jealous of the author. And I could only think, what? Where did this come from? Even if it was supposed to be a twist, twist work if they build on something existing and this just came out of nowhere. Unfortunately, this also leads to another serious problem in the book, which is the lack of character development. The book tries to portray a process. A good man becoming evil, a sane person becomes insane, two good friends becoming enemies. The problem is that it fails. In order to show a process, you first need to establish how the character was at the beginning and then introduce a catalyst to a change in the character, a change that gradually becomes bigger and stronger. And then maybe at the end you'll show a mirror image of an event that also happened at the beginning just to show how differently the same character reacts to it. For example, there is nothing of that kind here. Macbeth turns from a good guy to a bad guy overnight. He has one small moment of hesitation before committing the first crime and from that moment on he's basically on the side of evil. Basically the book lacks any coherent process. It's a shame we can't see Macbeth and his wife's uh, mental decline. It could have made into a great psychological thriller. And those were my biggest problems with the book. As just something to read to pass the time, it's fine. It looks into very interesting themes of good and evil and the shades of grey in between. It's just a shame that the book doesn't explore them well enough as much as the Scottish play did. And that's all for now. Have you read Macbeth or the original Scottish play? What do you think of Shakespearean adaptation and which one is your favorite? And have you read any of the other books in the Hogarth Shakespeare novel projects? Please let me know if you liked any of them. And that's it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click like to show your support and also to subscribe to my channel if you dare. I am already very excited for the next book review that I'm going to do, so make sure you join me in my next video. Again, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.